Hi everyone, I'm so excited to be filming. We're gonna be doing acne coverage, of course. I have some new friends here. I'm getting some kind of temple acne along here, which is weird. I never got that in a while. I noticed that my skin is changing ever since starting probiotics. So I feel like my skin is getting better, but you just can't really see it right now. But I can like feel my digestion is improving ever since I started my naturopath's protocols and all that. So we're just gonna have to to just keep going with it. She says I might purge. So this might be it. I'm not quite sure, but we shall see. But anyway, with that <laughs> being said, I'm gonna try to do like a foundation free base. We're going to see. I am kind of scared. But anyway, I'm just gonna be using the spotlight primer from Physicians Formula. It's my favorite primer. Probably isn't necessarily the best for acne just because it might like make them shiny obviously and like stick out more. You probably want to stick to more matte. But at the same time for me, whenever I used matte, it made my texture more pronounced, like drier looking. So then in result, it made it stand out more. Whereas like, I guess luminous. Sure, it makes it a bit like shinier, but at least it looks moisturized and hydrated. <laughs> so that's my thing. I feel like you can't really go perfect either. Either way, there's gonna always be something that like you won't like about you know a certain product when you have acne. I want to try to cover my whole face in this CoverGirl stuff, but I don't know if this is for sure for sure my shade. But yeah, so I'm gonna try the shade Classic Ivory for my face. Try to compare it to the Tarte Shape Tape. This is a bit darker, so this actually might be a bit too light still for my face. If this doesn't work, then we're just gonna stick with the tape shape or shape tape. Oh my gosh, I can never say it right. I will always forever alternate the name and make it sound different. Okay. This might actually be a bit too light. Gonna start with that. We're just gonna see how that turns out. I'm gonna take this a little Morphe. This is a D discontinued brush. I believe it was like the G6 or something. But Jaclyn Hill, when she first started, it was probably like five, six years ago or something. She made a video on this brush. And this is literally like that old. Oh, it actually doesn't look bad. I actually really like this concealer as like a face, like foundation almost. <laughs> I feel like this covers acne pretty well, but it's more on the natural side. <laughs> yeah, I think we might actually have to go in with a foundation actually no we're just gonna probably go in with my tart what is this shape tape i always taste i always like mess up the name so much yeah i think we're just gonna straight up go with the shape tape yeah it's a bit darker which is more my color and then also it is a bit more thicker honestly i could just treat it like a foundation like i'm applying it <laughs> and anywhere i have acne which is pretty much like all over my face so <laughs> this is pretty much like a foundation now yeah i'm getting so much acne like down here and i don't know if it's a horn hormonal thing i looked up online and apparently i've been reading like hormonal stuff so so anyway i'm taking some hormonal supplements like herbs just natural herbs i don't know like with a combination of everything of what i'm doing right now i feel like my skin is just straight up it's just detoxing or something i don't know what it's doing i feel like the overall like texture of my skin like the quality of my skin is actually more like elastic and bouncier like it just looks more healthier but i still just have acne it's the, o it's the only thing is the acne that's the only issue i would give it maybe another couple months or so hopefully then my acne will go away but yeah we just have to roll with the punches my skin has just been like so textured i want to believe that it's a purge but again i stopped the b5 i guess this is like kind of a skin update but yeah like i stopped the b5 recently and like for stopping the b5 as a whole for like five months pretty much i've stopped or four months straight this is my acne right now so so these are the active acnes that you see and this is like without taking the b5 i can't complain it's actually looking like pretty good considering i legit stopped the b5 like literally before this covid thing i'm pretty sure happened so if you want an update on a b5 i can make one last uh, video of it like video update thank goodness makeup is a thing to like make yourself feel better about your skin but then also at the same time when you do struggle with acne i know it's like so hard when it can be painful it's kind of like what i've been experiencing lately and again i think it might be because of the purging comment below if you use accutane or something because i'm wondering like is this what you experience when you're like on accutane you just like have to deal with so much painful purging i guess i honestly don't think i could ever see myself go on accutane just because literally i did this whole diet change to pl be plant-based so i could have overall improved skin texture so the fact that like i would be plant-based so i can go on accutane just doesn't make sense the main concern again if you were 
to like switch to plant-based is make sure you do tests <laughs> that's my only mistake i would make as soon as you turn vegan literally a month or so or a few months down the road if you're experiencing anything weird like acne or stomach problems like get tested it's not a detox because <laughs> the whole time i thought it was a detox because these weird vegan youtubers are telling me oh like keep going like <laughs> it's crazy water fast vegans but yeah, it's good that a lot of them are not vegan anymore. Like they weren't really vegan to begin with. A lot of the vegan YouTubers are a very bad influence on me <laughs> as a vegan. So yeah, I'm kind of glad that they're, they peaced out. So a lot of them have, thank God. Then I could actually like be hopefully a good example for like soon to be vegans. And then they can learn from my mistakes because obviously it's not the diet that's the problem. It's what you're deficient in, you know, cause I clearly again was missing probiotics. But again, I didn't know because these other vegan YouTubers thought it was a freaking detox when they had acne as soon as they turned vegan. And it's not nothing special. It's just something that like, I feel like a lot of people experience if you're doing a drastic diet change. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna quickly carve my eyebrows out. Okay, so now I'm gonna use CoverGirl in porcelain for my concealer, cause I have not used it. Yeah, I literally used it probably once under my eyes. So, uh, that's super thick, oh my God. I didn't realize how thick this concealer is. Okay, right, we're just gonna use my fingers. It's the warmest and super good for melting in the product. Dabby, dabby, dabby. I feel like concealer just totally is like a game changer. This concealer is like a bit dry. Overall, not bad. Oh yeah, there's some like patchiness. Maybe it doesn't like my primer. See, look, there's like some patchiness here. Wrap it on the other side too. Uh-oh, this never happens with my concealers. Okay, so definitely be careful with this. I don't know if it's because maybe this concealer dries super fast because it is on more on the matte side. Ooh, my nose be looking a bit crusty too. Look at that. Interesting, huh? I don't know how I feel about this concealer then. Well, I know when I use my Bye Bye Under Eye, that never happens, so uh, I know that it's not my face. <laughs> It'd be the primer, I really don't know. Anyway, we're just gonna set it even though it's kind of crusty, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that under, I don't know. That never happened to me before. But again, I'm always using my Bye Bye Under Eye. I don't experiment too, too much with concealers, but I feel like it could be a really good face concealer. So it is more matte, it won't budge. But again, if you have like drier under eyes, I have like pretty oily, oily skin in general. So I don't know what that patchiness was about. Literally, I have no idea. A bigger brush to set the rest of the face. Just gonna use my trusty old Marc Jacobs coconut bronzer. Never fails on me. It's a beautiful bronzer, especially for the summer. Super natural tan. It's not too warm, not too cool. It's just right. Yeah, it's like drier concealer. Like, like here, look at that. I don't know. Very interesting observations from this concealer. Okay, and then I'm just gonna quickly put on a tart in the shade Parte. It is Amazonian clay uh, blush. I'm just gonna put the blush like here. I don't think once applying blush, I've ever smiled. I've never once in my life used that as an indicator of where I should apply my blush. Like, I just literally look in the mirror and I'm like, okay, like I want blush here, here. Cause it's like, if you smile, you're just like, it doesn't do anything to your cheeks. You're just putting them here. Like whether you smile or not, if you smile, it actually like you put your blush here. So it just doesn't make sense to me. Cause like, doesn't that droop your face? I don't know. It's just a weird, and like you don't blush just here. You blush like everywhere. So it just never made sense to smile when you apply blush. I don't know. The excess on my nose, on my chin, forehead. <laughs> Get some burn, burnt look. <laughs> so I'm gonna quickly apply lashes and mascara off camera. I actually recently got new lashes from, well, I use this Kiss Lashes. Um, These are more like dramatic, I guess. And these are more like, wispy like natural looking i'll link these down below i really can't remember the name of it but they're in number 11 and these are in 03 so hopefully i can find them in the link down below like it because they're reusable and also they're 100 percent human hair quickly uh, do the off camera and i'll be back these lashes they look so so natural i seriously couldn't even tell that i put on fake lashes like they're so much better than these these are really good for like a night out or something but during the day honestly like these lashes 
pieces. Oh my God, look at that. Like I can't even tell that I put them on. They look so good. I don't know if I wanna put on highlight today. I don't know. I wanna keep it like super natural and I feel like highlight kind of accentuates my pimples <laughs> a bit more. I've recently noticed more often than not. So, but I will put on his lipstick. This is like my favorite lip shade as of now, as of recent. So this is long wear matte lip gloss. I think it's like really affordable too. It's cruelty free. This is from Beauty Creations. It's called Sweetheart and I just use it as like a lip stain. Just put like a bit here, a bit here. Yeah, I don't like to put too, too much. I feel like it's like too much color if you do that. But if you just take a little bit and like smudge it in, like, even this was like too much shade. I'm just like taking the excess off with my middle finger. It's such a pretty color. Like it's like your lips, but like sexier <laughs> it's so nice and then i'm gonna top it off with a bit of just the wet and wild so this is in the shade sun glaze and it's just like again i'm just gonna put it on the middle and like the cupid's bow does a little like highlight it, like the lip gloss is a bit intense but it looks so good if you put it just like in the center of your lips it's like so pretty it's like super subtle but it's super cute and of course finish it off with some setting spray. So this is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. So I'm just like, okay, if I'm not putting on highlighter, at least I will have a little bit of shimmer shimmer. And this doesn't bring out texture too much. Like this honestly just makes a nice sheen of luminosity, I guess. It's just like dewy. Yeah, it's like setting spray literally just like brings the whole look together though. It just looks so much better with setting spray. Everything just looks so much more natural. This is the final look. Um, again, foundation free. It's literally just using my Tarte Shape Tape and I feel like everything just looks so much more natural. I don't know. Honestly, I swear they should have just like sold bigger versions of this instead of making the actual Shape Tape foundation. They literally should have just took this Shape Tape concealer and made it bigger and like charged a bit more or something or made it a bit more affordable that would have been even great i literally live by this stuff honestly way better than the actual foundation literally wins like hands down yeah anyway um with that being said i hope you have a good day good night wherever you're watching this please subscribe if you want to see more of me i post every sunday tuesday and thursday hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video i post all my social media links and products in the video will be linked down below as well as my second youtube channel if you don't know hello my name is sonia i'm a music producer and i produce music so if you're into edm pop or bright bouncy pop music vibes then definitely subscribe to that it'll mean the world to me i'll link it again first thing down below and lots of virtual kisses and hugs and i'll see you in the next video okay peace <laughs>